<laughs> whenever I switch back to my camera, I'm always like down here or something. Okay, whatever. Hi. What's up? Um, I'm so excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake because I never played the original. So I'm pretty excited for that. So I'm like, I've just been listening to the soundtrack and I've just been, fuck guys, you want to know what I see right now? I see a fucking ant. Shit. You know what that means. Once you see an ant, it's game over. Hold on. And you have to kill the ant, so I'm sorry. <gasps> There's ants all over! Guys. Mayday. This is Mayday. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Is this officially the ant stream? I just... Listen. So, to my right, which is to your left, uh, the door to my balcony is so shitty that the ants are getting in. Fuck, what should I do? Phoebe, what should I do? I can't just let them crawl all over the place. Hmm. There's one on this shoe. Hold on, guys. This is an ant-killing stream. One second. Let me open this. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where are you? Ah, this is so gross. Okay. I smashed it. Sorry, that wasn't the best thing to do. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, great. Now there's going to be ants. That's fun. So probably when I stop streaming, I have to eh, spray down the wall. Also, sorry, I was tucking myself closer. I wasn't like humping the computer. Kind of looked like that. Fuck. <laughs> I just want to play Animal Crossing. Damn it. <gasps> or Lux. <laughs> Thanks for the Animal Crossing sub. Appreciate ya. It's a pretty, pretty healthy sub. <laughs> Oralux, I don't know, your name changes like every fucking day. First it was Oasis, then it was Ryan, and then it was Oralux. Um, dude, I, I am so worried. You want to know, uh, what, so uh, me and Ants, we have a bad relationship. One time, I awoke from my slumber, and when I looked at my ground, it, Instead of my beautiful white carpet, this was when I was living in my attic, it was all black. And I was still sleepy, so I was like, why is my carpet black? Did mom get me a rug or something? And then I realized that the blackness was moving. My whole carpet was black. So that's my relationship with ants. So I am very scared of ants. I used to like delve deep into the ant realm. Um, and I would wake up to them all over me, so once I see one ant, I get so fucking freaked. Well, at least I know where they're coming from. They're coming from this door. So you just gotta spray this door. This door is so shitty. It, it, it barely closes. I'm a bug connoisseur, okay? I used to live in the bug kingdom. So I know what's up. Anyways, welcome to Animal Crossing. Um, oh, I also want your guys' opinion on something. Candy Skull Mask? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm digging it. <laughs> Give me. I get hiccups when I talk too much. 
Phoebe is back here. She is super chillin'. Like the gangsta she is. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's put this little dick all away, hmm? Oh yeah, that's right. I, okay. I have, uh, look how much material I have. Shoot, now you guys are going to see my secret project. I know it might look weird that I'm collecting trash, but the, just know that it's for a reason. I haven't time traveled that much. Uh, like I said, it's time travel Tuesday. What more can I say? It's a national holiday where we all time travel. And we're all better than everybody else. <laughs> what up, more slap bass? <laughs> How does that SNL skit go? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, this is what I get for time traveling. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Oh, shit. I just think of uh, Dark Souls 1, where you fight that boss, and it's like, heretic. And that's how the boss fight starts. Fucking wasps. Wasps. How do you say wasps? <laughs> it's like ghosts. It's like, why do you need to add the extras? Anyways. Why is my CPU so high? I don't fucking know. Listen, I know you can just press up, but I'm not a pro gamer like that, and I, when I see wasps, I fucking freak out. Have you played Skyrim? Um, hold on. Yeah. I have, like... On my PC, I have like uh, I forgot how many I how many hours I have, but I probably have like a lot. And then on my Switch, I have a lot of hours too. Halt right there, criminal scum! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. What say you in your defense? Then pay with your blood. <laughs> I have 65 hours. Damn. I thought I had more. I don't know. Guys, uh, it, cherry blossom season's over. What the fuck? I just get so pissed. Ah, shit. So yeah, I got a cute little kimono on. Is there a way to make my face a little brighter? Do you want to know why my face is so dark? It's because of this shit. If I had proper curtains, it'd be fine. I was playing Skyrim before uh, Animal Crossing came out. Because I just... <gasps> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Everyone, sh <laughs> Who's ready for some sea sports? You, that's who. Nyuk, nyuk. That sounded like a, uh, racial slur. My name's CJ, and I'm your anchor for this once-in-a-season fishing delge. Nyuk, nyuk. I don't know. Here, you want to know what I could do for proper lighting? Does it look better? It doesn't look better? <laughs> I can't... Guys, in front of me is... I can't have lighting in front of me. It's impossible. 
It's like, there's like five desks in front of me and a TV. Let me, speaking of that, let's, there. Now you guys can look at my duck. How are you guys enjoying your quarantine? You guys having fun? Let me know. Uh, my quarantine is going pretty well. As you can see, I've been playing Animal Crossing. Wait, are we fishing right now? Yerba Mate? For 30 buckaroonies? Dude, one of my favorite drinks, um... Oh, fuck! Okay, we're going! Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, this is timed. Shit. I, I pulled out the wrong one. Uh... What am I wearing? I'm wearing a kimono, you fucking bigot. <laughs> Aren't you a weeaboo like all of us? <laughs> Guys, there's no fish. Oh my god, this like slappy ass base. What the hell? Am I supposed to be wearing like some like a fishing thing? Shit, I got nervous. <laughs> I do that all the time. God damn it. There's no fucking room in this island, and I built it with my own two fucking hands. Why are they all wearing top hats? I'm really confused. Why is everyone playing this game? Um, because it just came out? <laughs> Why do you breathe? I don't know why we breathe. You know, breathing is what everybody tells you what you need to do, right? Wow, I fucking suck at this game, what the fuck? There's no fish! Flora probably ate all the fish. Ass wipe. Oh my god. Um, this is a speed run. <laughs> As you can see by me displaying my perfect skills. There, okay. I can't look. Otherwise, I can't fish. Gonna play another load? Wow, I got one fish in two minutes. Pretty cool. And it's a fucking loach. Great. <sighs> Did I win? <sighs> uh, well, hold on real quick. Before I admit defeat, I need to, uh, I need to get another shovel. Dude, why is Animal Crossing so funky now? <laughs> all the songs, all the hourly songs are all funky as hell. Maybe this is the fishing tourney song. Whoa. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Hold on. Can I play can I play that fishing tourney thing again? I wasn't really prepared. Okay. 
Okay. Here we flip and go. Now I look normal again, whatever. Oh yeah, when more people show up, I want to show you guys my creation. Uh, I made my character eyebrows, but it looks kind of weird. Hey, I'm doing great, Jake. How are you doing? Even though it's the apocalypse, I am doing pretty well because Animal Crossing's here. You know? <gasps> There's like a Victorian dress. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> McDonald's gave me diabetes. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really weak one. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. You know, McDonald's gave me diabetes as well. That's good. Animal Crossing has been helping tremendously with my mental needs. Luchador mask? Oh yeah, I didn't even see it. Graduation gown? <laughs> what is that emote? Is that what your uh, diabetes looks like? You know, <laughs> I think the reason why there's a graduation gown in this is because since everybody's in quarantine, this is the only way that we can have a graduation ceremony is through Animal Crossing. Whoa, naked. Ruffle dress. Shut the fuck up. Literally made cafe. The hell? <laughs> Does anybody want a wrestling mask? <gasps> Shut the fuck up. Guys. <laughs> yeah, it's what diabetes looks like. Damn. It sounds pretty intense. Glad I don't have it. I might someday. <laughs> Mm. I really want to get that, but I also need to save my money. Do you want this mustache? I'll get it for you. I need to save my money for my house. Some gay cowboy boots. It's pretty nice. Uh, why are all the shoes so ugly? I'll send it to you. <laughs> I also, like, I wanted to design my own town flag today, but I really, I am not confident enough to do it. This is actually a melted dollar store peep. Oh, don't people put peeps um, hey, there's a new house here. Don't people put peeps, uh, in the microwave? Uh, and they, like, literally explode? <laughs> oh, yeah, I talked to this girl yesterday. Or a boy? I'm not sure. I think it's a girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be my flag. Just a tiny little peach. I literally have that same hat. Okay, hi. I failed. It's one point. I'm so hyped. I love him. <laughs> He's part of the hype house. F 
fish swag. Um, hold up. There's fish swag? <laughs> uh, I need to get on that real quick. Uh, but before... I need to, uh, upgrade my shit. Exploding peeps in the micro- Isn't that a thing? I'm not going crazy, right? Like, that's a real thing. <laughs> I mean, anything can be real if you really think about it. Whoa, I kind of need that. Fucking Godzilla? What the hell? Damn. I need to listen. I kind of blew my miles a little bit because a great way to use miles or to get bells is to use your miles. But I kind of went a little crazy town USA and I fucked it up. But that's okay. Anyways, yeah, we're just having a nice chill, <gasps> whoa, apple rug. We're just having a nice chill Animal Crossing stream. Just finished catching a hundred fish in a row. Is that for miles? Probably a thing and it sounds like something I need to search up right away. It's kind of like when people put, um, they microwave, don't do this by the way. They microwave uh, like Cheetos bags and shit. And it like gets really tiny. Hi music man. <laughs> what up? Can I keep participating in this fish tourney? You know, just playing Animal Crossing until I die. The huge. Um, I was a little tired this morning, but I finished my work. I made sure, because I forgot to finish my work last time, but I made sure to finish my work before I did anything today. Um. Fuck that. Shit. Mm, I fucked up. I'm sorry. But tomorrow I'm excited because it's my day off. You know, from working the grind. Doing the 9 to 5. A.K.A. <laughs> playing Animal Crossing on Twitch. That's my 9 to 5. Yeah, people aren't really the brightest, but that's okay. I'm not the brightest bulb in the, in the hamper either, you know? Uh, well, I have lots of lore from my past that will kind of describe my mental capacity, but, uh... I don't know, what's like, what's like the dumbest story I have? I mean, there's one that's kind of TMI and a little like too early in the stream to delve into. Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking about it and I probably shouldn't share it ever, but Oh yeah, here, okay, here's one story I have. Um, one time I was, <laughs> one time I was in, I've already told you, Ryan, <laughs> you already know. It's deep in your subconscious somewhere. 
I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't even have a net. I'm a failure. Um, but, uh, one time I was in my brother's room, uh, when I lived with my mom. And I was like eight at the time. And, um, my brother was gone, like I was home alone or whatever. And I see... <laughs> Hi, Blumpkin. What's up? <laughs> Thanks. I see a, a very mysterious object on my brother's desk. And I'm like, hmm. Hmmst. What the fuck is that? And so I kind of like evaluate the situation. I'm like trying to figure it out. I'm holding it. I'm like inspecting it and I was like you know what it kind of looks like a mask and I got fucking pumped and I was like playing with it I pretended to be like Freddy um, from Friday the 13th I think that's what his name is uh, who wears the mask um, you know and I was being all cool I was cosplaying <laughs> um, and then my brother and my mom they came home and <laughs> they come in my brother's room because my brother got got back from like practice or something like basketball practice um and they come back in his room and i turn around in the swivel chair and i'm like guys guys i have a, i found this mask isn't it so cool it was just sitting here and my mom and my brother were mortified because <laughs> it was um what is it? What do you guys call it? A jock strap? <laughs> um, it was a jock strap. And it was on my face for a good hour. Yeah. So, um I it, I don't I don't know. I was, I didn't I didn't smell anything, I don't think. Um, yeah, I would have noticed. You're probably right. So that's kind of how smart, that's like my mental brain capacity, you know? Um, that's the, that's the thinking power, the big brain power that I operate on at all times. <laughs> um, it's the basis of how, of everything, you know? If that's even the right way to say it. Oh yeah, I also have this like weird ass fucking thing that I put here. It makes noises. Dude, I almost killed myself on one of these. Can I just say? Oh my god, more lore. Um, <laughs> I was with my brother. Yet again, another fucking brother story. God damn it. Hold on. There we go. I was with my brother and we were at um, a fair. <laughs> and it was those like teacup spinny thingies, but it was apples or something. It was like a ripoff or some shit. Um, it was apples. And then, so you sit in the apple and then we're like twisting it around whatever but me and my brother go like we went overboard <laughs> and oh my god guys we spun it so fast it fucking unhooked from the fucking shit and we were just fucking spinning around <laughs> Zoom. That's what we did. And we weren't hurt. We were just fucking spinning. And I was dying laughing. It was the funniest shit ever. And my mom never took us to the fair ever again. <laughs> but you know, when you do... When you do that stuff, like in Disneyland, you know, that shit hangs on tight, right? Because they know bitches are crazy. And there's also, like, something that stops you from going too fast. 
But, you know, this fair pulled out all the stops. So we were just, like, fucking going, dude. We were, like, breaking the light speed barrier, whatever it's called. Right, blathers. Let's fucking blab it up. <sighs> I don't know why quarantine's making me so tired. I even had a super delicious meal today. This morning, I usually don't eat, eat breakfast in the morning, but like today I had like a really good breakfast. And I made sure I did. I had like a ton of fruit, some rice, eggs, um, you know, whatever, right? I'm trying to take care of myself. Shit, I'm still tired. Yeah, this fair sucks. But everyone goes to it. It's like a really popular fair um, in Washington State. And everyone fucking goes to it. Um, it's for the most savage of people, you know? Springborn free spirit. Can this free spirit fix my face? I'm gonna go buy more medicine. I'm gonna waste so much money on medicine. Um, BK Foots 100? Thanks for the follow. I always go on the wrong bridge on accident. Dude, I can't wait to make pathways. Um, I'm gonna make a fuck ton of pathways and I'm gonna fix this monstrosity <laughs> of a layout. Phoebe's running in her sleep right now. Here, let's see if you guys can see it. I don't know if she's awake or not. I don't think she is. Oh my god, the gravity shit. Oh my god, dude, the Gravitron. <laughs> dude, the Gravitron? Don't even get me started on the Gravitron. That shit... I would like break the rules. I mean, everyone did this, but I would like break the rules and I would stand up on the wall <laughs> and then they'd kick me out. And I'd be like, oh, you know that one vine of the guy doing it? That was me. <laughs> uh, Cavman72. Thanks for a follow. Okay. 11,000 buckaloonies. Dude, and there's protein powder. <laughs> this game added so much cool shit. And I'm pumped. Okay, let's try again at the fishing tourney. Because we all know that I kind of sucked ass at that. Wait. Oops, I forgot to buy, um, I forgot to buy medicine. That's why I came in here. Oh, but first, before I forget, I have to send Kaylin the curly mustache. Okay. I have to spend so much cash muns on medicine. Mm, I hope someday there's like a tool upgrade where you can just have an, um, 
Unbreakable Tool. That should be the name of a band, but... You know, it's annoying every time my tool breaks. Mm, sell them all. Six hundred bells? That seems like a lot for a little dick of a roach. Okay. Um, I want to compete again because I sucked. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Oh, it's when you leave. Okay, gotcha. So you have to catch at least three fish. Oh my god. I can't look <laughs> um, when I'm fishing. I would ride and I think it was the one where you were in a cage and it shook you. Oh, the fucking zipper. The fucking zipper. That's what that shit's called. I went in one once and the guys that were running it were like, do you want us to hold your things? And we were like, no, it's okay. Cause like we've never been on it before. And they were just like, <laughs> okay. And they were fucking smirking at us. And I almost lost my phone. Um, and all of my belongings. My change fell out. I wasn't strapped in properly. It was the worst ride ever. Ugh. Pissed me off. Those dumb fucking teenagers that were running that ride. I wanted to smack them in the face so hard. I mean, Christ, at least hire people that give more of a shit about human safety <laughs> um, before you let people on your fucking dangerous ass ride. I think the zipper should be totally, like, illegal. I don't know why it's still a thing. It's the same with this this water park that we have in Washington. Like none of the people in the water park give a shit. They're all like <clears throat> these underpaid teenagers and like there's like people's like people could drown, you know? <laughs> Not saying that teenagers are dumb, but I'm just saying that when you underpay people and the job does suck, that's true, but it's like dude. Hi, Mr. Joe. What's up? I posted my sawhorse. <laughs> I don't know. I think people shit on kids a lot. Um, I mean, teenagers are literally like, they're self-absorbed. Uh, I was. I thought I was the center of the universe. Just like every teenager was. But they gotta go through that lesson, you know? It's better to go through that then than fucking when you're older. No. <laughs> I think people shit in toilets too. A lot. Let me see your sawhorse. The hell is that? <laughs> is that just like the layout of what it's gonna look at look like? Oh. Nice. I appreciate the grind. I you know, we all have to go through a big, big dumb moment. Uh, Jer the Bale one. Thanks for the follow. Dude, that really concerns me because <laughs> it's really dangerous. Like, all this shit. Dude, I will say, though, that Disneyland is my fucking shit. I 
I haven't been to Disney World. Isn't there like a debate? I I really want to go to Di listen. I think the next place I'm gonna go to is Disney World. Um, because I've never been there, and like I could go to like Harry Potter Land. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I could do other things too. Try to catch a tarantula. Uh, that's at night. I tried catching it yesterday, and it did not work in my favor. I know it's not. I know, Ryan. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you're in the Florida area, okay? It's, un it's wild. It's untamed. There's all sorts of parks. <laughs> Shit. How much do tarantulas sell for? That's why I was trying to uh, catch some last night. You know what? 8k? Oh shit. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it tonight. I'm gonna go on a tarantula grind. Cause tomorrow's my day off and I'll have plenty of time. Wait, can I fucking see my live stream? Is he a streamer? <laughs> Hi Hanovers. Uh, I almost thought your name said, um, a mix of hangover and, uh, hand jobs. So that's pretty cool. Okay, you need 10 points. Yeah, I said what I said. Hand job overs. Hand bovers. Hand Jovers. Hand Jovers. That should be your new your new name. <laughs> there. Boom, fix your name. Sorry, I have to look away when I fish. Otherwise I get nervous. <laughs> okay. That's how I did an Animal Crossing, too. I just had to totally look away. Oh, wait. I didn't start a new... Oh, shit. I'm a dumb bitch. Okay, hold on. Can I put stuff in here? Oh, I can't. Okay. Japanese Minecraft. Handover. <laughs> oh, oh, this? <laughs> Animal Crossing? Um, well, I guess the best way that I could describe it is like, it's like The Sims, um, but you're surrounded by things that are so cute, it will literally give you diabetes. Mm. And, you know, there's collectibles, uh, you can collect, or you have to try to find, like, all the fish, all the fossils, all the bugs. There's, like, events, too. There's, um, different seasons and, uh, different holidays. You can decorate your house, uh, decorate the whole thing, the whole island. What's up, review group? Review bruh? <laughs> best channel on YouTube. I like the song that plays. How, how am I feeling about it? Well, considering the fact that I have yet to put this down, um, since it's come out, uh, I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> yeah.
Now this game came out um, about four days ago. Uh, Music Man, I don't know if you know Animal Crossing lore like I do, but if you run in Animal Crossing, you risk the chance of ruining your grass. So, no. <laughs> I can't run. Not in this one? Did you look it up? Yes, there's... You read up on it? Okay. I'm glad. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so not used to running in Animal Crossing. Yeah, it'll rebloom. Um. That's good. Listen, I'm so used to not running in Animal Crossing that I I don't know if I could ever go back, but I probably will start running. It's just a very uncomfortable feeling, though. <laughs> but running will scare away fish, so definitely don't run when you're fishing. If the fish will even fucking come... How do you run? You hold B. Come on, Ryan. Use your big brain. Uh, what's your fave game? Sims game? Um, probably this, Animal Crossing. Stardew Valley can get a little stressful for me because uh, there's stamina and the time goes by too quickly. Um, I've said that a couple times before, but The Sims is also really fun, uh, but it, um, I don't know. I just don't really like EA as a company. Uh, they charge too much uh, for things that should just be in the game for free. Um, like having like a pool costs you like $45 to add in the game, and it's just I don't really want to support them as a company anymore. Um, so I would say Animal Crossing, 100%. It does ruin the lore. Dude, you can make a fuck ton of money doing this. Um, and you can get some cool fish swag. I say that all the time. <laughs> oh, it's at random? Fishing rod stand. That is so cute. Hi, Zed Lars. <laughs> Zed Lars. It's a funny name. I'm gonna put this, um, where should I put this? Shit. Hmm. I'll put it here. It's kind of cute here. Shit. You know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna give this to, um... Shit, I, I forgot. I had to send a couple of messages to my friends. I'm gonna send this to Thomas. Because he loves fishing. <sighs> yeah, um... You know what? Would you guys mind if I just did the fishing tourney, like, for the rest of the stream? I might have to give up on... <laughs> what happened, Music Man? I thought you were committed. <laughs> um, barely entertaining? Thanks for the follow. Ah. Grandma. I know how that goes. I wish my grandma was into Animal Crossing. What the hell? <laughs> she must be so bored. <laughs> hey, it's going pretty well. 
just relaxing with Animal Crossing. How are all you guys doing? I know it's kind of a rough situation going on uh, in the outside world. <laughs> Dude, your grandma would love this. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send it with this. Fish. If I build everything, she won't get two. Oh, um, I don't know. So apparently someone said on Twitter that No, that was in the discord. Yeah, I won't let you have multiple islands So that's pretty lame. So you have to delete your save data Which is basically just Nintendo's way of saying give us more money Nintendo likes to do that Sudoku? Isn't it Sapoku? Wait, what's something that looks like a a mustache? I guess this. No. This is hard. Oh, perfect. Wait, I have an idea. Got it. <laughs> oh, I don't have it with me. Oh, shit. Hold on. We got a mayday. We got to back out. Sudoku is the numbers game? Oh. I don't, I don't get the joke. <laughs> What's the joke? I thought when you commit seppuku, that's like you're committing suicide for a greater good or something. Sudoku. Oh. I don't know. I can't tell. Listen. You think I can tell your fucking sarcastic attitude through your, <laughs> through the text? <laughs> On the screen? <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Of course Ryan gets it. Ryan's the only big brain around here. I mean the only reason why I even beat uh <laughs> Dark Souls 1 and 2 is because of all you big brains. You know, my brain is small. What am I doing in here? Oh yeah. I gotta get this. Ugh. This game makes me so sleepy. What the hell? I wanna get this game after Pokemon DLC. Ooh. I I really I am super tempted to get Pokemon DLC. Um But I just don't know. I'm not one of those people that play Pokemon to complete the Pokedex, but for me personally, I would say that Animal Crossing is worth it, but um, I can't really speak for everybody, so I always tell people to just kind of watch, chillax, and if they like what they see, then cool, and if they don't, then that's okay. Listen, I said the same thing like a month ago, two months ago. And then I beat Dark Souls 1 and 2 on stream. And it was the most nerve wracking shit ever. <laughs> I thought that's what you were gonna do. Oh yeah, you could do that.
Very cool. <laughs> I wonder what she's gonna name her island. Um, can you send me that fat stack of cash? <laughs> Thanks. Wait. Maybe we could have like a Discord showdown. <laughs> and like whoever wins the showdown gets the fat stacks. Yeah, dude. We could do like Jeopardy. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> So then it's not just like, ooh, I want it. It's like, whoever wins, it's fair and square. I mean, how much money are we talking? 150k? Dude, that's kind of a lot of money. It's a lot of V-Bucks. Yeah, Ryan, get with the program. How many, how many are you trying to send me? 1.5 fruit stacks. Dude. I want to try to get to serious work on my, on my island soon. Because my goal is to like, make everything look hella cute. God damn it, piece of shit. God damn it. Hmm? Wow, I hate this fish with a burning passion. Just look at it with your own two fucking fish eyes. There we go. Have you caught a sturgeon? Oh, wait, have I ever caught a fresh water goby? I don't think I have. Uh, I don't know if I have caught a sturgeon. I like how you started your sentence with excuse me streamer though. <laughs> okay. Take a little, little fishy fish. Here we go. Fuck! <laughs> when does it come out? Dude, I've been panicking about collecting everything. Look at it! Okay. <sighs> I didn't want to time travel at first, but supplies ran dry. And I was like, hmm, maybe just one at a time. <laughs> See? Now you know what I'm talking about, dude. I will say, though, that time traveling kind of ruins the experience of, like, looking for fish and bugs. Um, but then you can, like, when you do find out when the bugs are, when the fish come out, or, like, whatever, then you can always go back to that time or whatever. It's out all day, but that could be fake news. Hmm. Dude, I can't wait for, like, this game to be out for, like, a couple months or so, so maybe people will complete their Pokedex or some shit for their fishies. And then I can start collecting. Here, let's see if I have a sturgeon. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, I have that. Okay. It's all day. Is it in the ocean? Yeah, I really don't think I have it. Here's the ultimate fish.
yeah. A, ri a river mouth, huh? So is that like when it appears right before the ocean starts? Yeah. It's kind of like with the pier too, like sometimes... Oh, oops. I forgot to start the actual fishing thing. It is Dory. Um, sometimes I'll fish for fish on the pier and it'll like... They're not available in April. Shit. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Dude, you can get fat stacks from this guy. Holy crap. This is the way to go if you want some cash months. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> Does this guy do this just to eat? Yeah, but those fish don't cost that much. That's for three fish. Dude, one time I had a full inventory and I only got like 11,000 or some shit. <laughs> I can't. I can't look at the screen when I fish. I get nervous. <laughs> it's nerve wracking. <laughs> I, f I feel I, I feel the vibrations. <laughs> That's what I did in uh, New Leaf too. I always looked away. I am vibing on the fish. I want to see somebody do a cover of this on their, like, tuba. <laughs> I haven't seen an ant yet since I started, so... Oh yeah, for the people who weren't here at the beginning, I saw an ant crawling on my doorstep, and I got so freaked out because... Ants, I am, I just hate bugs. I'm so scared of ants. Um, because, you know, once you see one, that's kind of like the indicator that there's like a fuck ton. I only saw three when I first started streaming. And they're coming from the doorway. So, because my balcony door is really shitty. Um, and it's not properly sealed. Because the foundation is leaning. So, in my room. So I'm like looking out for them. I'm probably gonna spray, just eat them. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm probably gonna spray the door down. That was scary. I do like the vib the vibration on the controller when um Oh, so I don't get the last one? That's kinda lame. Um you know it's a crazy ass fish when your controller's shaking like crazy. Dude! 
soon. It just takes a while. That's the only thing about it. And you get some some V buck swag. Oh, I want to give this all to Thomas because he really likes fishing. <laughs> you don't like V-Bucks? Listen, I tried playing um, Fortnite for literally two seconds. Dude, 7,000 for just a couple fish? Are you kidding me? Did my stream crash? Can you guys see me? My stream didn't crash? Uh, yes. <laughs> You're responding to me. Oh, so, oh, you can see me. Yes, as in you can see me. My stream preview went black. Oh, because there was a network error. Okay, we're back. What the fuck? <laughs> Scary. Twitch, it gives me a heart attack all the time. I think it was, um, so my layout is I have, uh, I have my stream manager up and then I have my OBS running too. Um, so I look at my stream manager in order to see what you guys are saying. Um, and then, uh, so I just saw in the stream manager that the stream preview, preview was black and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> but it was just because there was like a network error or something. Yeah. Listen, I have a terrible tail. I want you to look at this. Is it even on here anymore? <laughs> Wait, I don't want to fucking dox myself. It's not even on here anymore, dude. Anyways, my my profile used to be, uh, like, all the way at the bottom. It was Fortnite a little bit because I made one video on it and I never played it ever again. I love Ace Attorney. I actually didn't beat it, but I beat the first two. Because it's the whole trilogy. I beat the first two. I didn't beat the third one. Because um, I think other games came out. Can I also just say. When I was playing Ace Attorney. That's when I was like the most depressed. So. Oops. Also. When you have. When you're like severely depressed. Um, your memory goes really bad. So I can't, I can't remember anything from 2019. <laughs> Shit! I forgot to send... <laughs> God damn it. I forgot to send the gift. I'll just send another one. Yeah, dude. That was the first time I was ever, like, severely, severely depressed was 2019. It's pretty scary. So when I played Ace Attorney, um, it helped me kind of distract myself, but it was still like, I was really sad. But that game is really cute. If you kind of like, you know, what I really like about it is, you know, it doesn't fucking hold your hand like Detective Pikachu, you know? I hated Detective Pikachu. It's like, you know, it... You gotta fucking solve this mystery and you gotta take everything into consideration and you gotta write shit down and use your big brain thoughts. You know? Uh, <laughs> okay.
Dude, what if I forgot to send it this one, too? Okay. There we go. Got it. God, I love my fucking kimono outfit. It's so cute. Okay. Soon, Dran Drangalek will be no more. Unfortunately, I played Fortnite twice because I played it. Drangle day. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I played it on the PC. It totally crashed. It was the shittiest experience I've ever had in my life. Um, and then I played it on my Switch. And I was so confused the entire time. <laughs> I do have a new outfit every night. Let's see how much... Maybe I can just sell him all these... All this stuff. Oh, see? It's a little cheaper. Than if you were competing in the fishing tourney. I want to see how much cash muns I need. <laughs> I just, I just swing open the door. Okay, hundred eighty-seven thousand. I'm in charge of this domain. Oh yeah, do you guys want to see my eyebrows? I made eyebrows for my character, but I think it makes my character look really weird. Um, here. Because <laughs> I got some thicky ass eyebrows, so. See, I think I made it the wrong color. Ugh, I think it looks really weird. And I tried making them different colors. Well, like, my eyebrows... It does look like I have a scar. <laughs> my eyebrows are really dark. Mm, I don't know. I just think they look weird. See, sometimes they look good. Hold on. Maybe, let me make it a little lighter and let's see if that works. Um, I mean... I don't even know what color. <sighs> this is stressful. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> I mean, in the light, you can't even... I can't really see it. Okay. I think I look a lot better without eyebrows. <laughs> Sorry. Make them blue. You know what? Why don't I get pink hair, and then I can have pink eyebrows. Hmm. I want to do an experiment. I want to do an experiment. Hear me out. Um, hold on really quick. I want to empty my inventory. And I want to collect as many fish as I can. 
Um, and then I want to see how much money I get from the beaver dude. I can't wait to have like a gallant driveway to my fucking house. Oh god. I probably have messages from Ryan. Yeah. I can be your angle or your deveal. What the fuck? Fly to the seventh layer of hell. Is Ryan still here? <laughs> what the hell is this? I need trash. How did he know? <laughs> I actually needed trash. <laughs> I know Ryan probably thought he was all funny, he he. But listen, guys, this is my ultimate strat. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mm, get enough trash so that I can make this stuff garbage heap wall and garbage heap floor. I actually think I have enough. <gasps> Wait, hold on. This is really exciting. But first I want to see what this looks like. Mm. I'll give it to Thomas, I guess. I'll see if he likes it. All right, where are all my trash? Here's all my trash. I need more boots. Boots and cats. Damn. Okay. Um, how many tires do I have? I just need two more boots. Ugh. Okay. I'll put it back. Well, there's also trash bags, too. And I want to send them all to Ryan. <laughs> Try to find it. God, there's so many now. Oh, see? <laughs> so much trash. I'll just make him a trash room. So now is the ultimate test. I wonder how much money I'm going to get from him. The fish guy was, or the bug guy was here last time. This guy is a serial killer. Welcome to the fishing stream. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Fish. All day.
Well, why don't you guys come to my island and you guys can fish too. And see if you can get a ton of cash months. Take me a while, huh? Oh god. <laughs> when Final Fantasy 7 comes out, I'm probably just going to oop, I'm probably just gonna have like just a couple streams where like I revisit my town, see how we do. Cause Animal Crossing is a lot of work. A lot of tedious fun work. I'm gonna steal Flora's fish. <laughs> there we go. Animal Crossing is the definition of grind. But it's grindy in like a fun way, you know? You're constantly in debt, so might as well enjoy your debt while you can, you know? I just can't wait until I can get my house looking cute, because my house is hella rough right now. The GameCube one was so much fun, but definitely playing the newer ones, you like can't go back. I tried to like revisit all the Animal Crossings before this one came out, um, and I couldn't do it. Because, um, just the newer Animal Crossings have a lot of conveniences for just the grindy stuff, you know? Yeah, literally. Collecting thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, once you... It's like that phrase, <laughs> that very racist phrase. Once you go to the newer Animal Crossings, you'll never go back. Dude, I can't wait until you guys see my new emote. It's really funny. <laughs> I'm replacing, I deleted that one girl because she looked a little rough. Uh, I don't think anybody knew uh, who she was or what she was supposed to be. But that's okay. Um, and I replaced it with something... Sorry. You could actually see, you know, what's going on. You guys know that one anime where, um, I think it's called Prison School or something? Where it's like these five boys, they're, they go to an all-girls school, um, and like they got caught looking at them in like the changing room or something. It's just, it's really funny, but... <laughs> Um, so the, one of the emotes is based off of one of the people on there. Here, I'll open my gate so that people can join. Um, but one of the, uh, one of the guys, he has a really, really huge face. Um, but really small, like, facial features, and it's really fucking funny. <laughs> well, I watch those too, but sometimes I like to uh, just watch a really funny, stupid anime. Uh, like, um, Food Wars is pretty funny. 
<laughs> Someone told me that like this streamer left her gates open and then like a bunch of people started to join and then <clears throat> and then she got like really pissed at them and it's like Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> Do you like my tea? Shit! <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. I have to do it again. I think it matches your vibe. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I, I watch the more sexual ones, um with my friend like I wouldn't really watch them by myself because I'd just be like Ugh. but I watch them with my friend and it makes it 10 times funnier just like hearing him like fucking laugh his ass off and then I just start laughing um <laughs> it's just really funny What's that? Dude, there's this one anime where it was like the girls were from like a different planet and they would like appear in guys as like bathtubs or some shit. Let's see how much I get for all this. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> um Every time like the girls like beat the shit out of the guys, it's really funny. Uh, Jackos, 1130. Uh, thanks for the, uh, follow. Yeah, dude. Um. Whew, it's a little rough. <laughs> I still watch Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is hilarious. <laughs> as one of those kinds of are those actual animes um i i haven't heard of those wait how much money did i get oh shit i didn't even see you guys are distracting me <laughs> oh yeah um i want to send thomas this Er, uh, yeah, I'll send him this. Panty and Stocking is a comedy action anime with pretty raunchy sense of humor. Dude, hell yeah. Like, I love watching those animes with, um, my friend. It's, it's like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Because you can just, you know, you can just laugh at how ridiculous it is. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Kind of like Food Wars. Food Wars is like so ridiculous that it's just really funny. Has a good dub. Well, yeah. My, see... Something that me and my friend are currently going through is he um, is like working out 24-7. So whenever he works out, he, he wants to watch something with like a good dub. So if you guys suggest it, then I, I'll, here, I'll message him right now and I'll say, hey, wow, I look so tired. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have like an HD webcam that's close to my face. Chat suggests we watch. I know I hate dubs too, but listen. Um, some dubs are okay. Samurai Champloo is okay. Cowboy Bebop's okay. Um, okay. Oh, let me tell him that I'm also streaming. Okay. But, um, you know, here's my theory. 
Uh, here's my theory with subs, dubs, and rubber dubs, right? Anime dialogue. The reason why we like dubs, or subs, sorry. The reason why we like subs is because it's so fucking cornballs that when a Japanese person is saying it and it's in a language that like you aren't fluent in and you don't understand it, you're just reading it and so it sounds a lot better and you're like, hell yeah. But when it's dubbed, like I'm sure Japanese people think it's super cornballs too and they probably like dubs. <laughs> yeah, they mistranslate too. And censorship and whatever. Um, but, you know, I, I still think it stands. You guys know how the, um, the Declaration of Independence, uh, it sounds really weird when you're reading it. Because it was meant to be spoken out loud. Um, it's kind of like the same thing, but with a... A sub. <laughs> Anime is really good for reading because it's super cornballs, but then when you're hearing it in your language, you're like, wow, this is so corny and cringy and blah, you know? It's <laughs> uh... a good letter. But for the, uh, for the manga, sometimes it's really hard to see what's going on. Like, watching or reading the One Piece manga is really hard because <laughs> anime is basically the same as this. <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know. I get, I know, because, you know, Oda, he has to work so hard to, like, put out One Piece content all the time, and, like, that fucker must never sleep. Well, the Bleach manga was really rushed. Yeah, Bleach was pretty good. I, uh, my friend told me what happened was the, or, and then people told me this yesterday too, that, um, the main director, uh, just wanted to draw cool shit. Um, and then the story writers or whatever, they were like bickering back and forth and arguing. Um, and... You know, he just wanted to draw cool monsters. He didn't want to make, like, a, a cool story. He just wanted to draw cool shit. So, you know, he rushed to finish the last arc and just finish the fucking Bleach manga in, like, three days because he was like, oh, whatever. Um, I think the anime is getting re-released. Um, I think... Yeah, they're animating the final arc next year. Yeah. That's what I heard, too. Um, I, I really hope that maybe they fix the ending a little bit. There, where it left off, not redoing it at all. Well, that's sad. I mean, because Bleach has such a fucking cool... I don't know. For me personally, I think Bleach had such a cool story. And then they just kind of threw everything away. Um, I, can't, I can't speak on it because I haven't gotten very far in, in Bleach at all. Did I say One Piece on accident? I meant Bleach. Uh, just in case I said One Piece. Um, but I think it had such a fucking cool story and a cool concept it's kind of like assassin's creed you know the second they fucking you know what someone 
It all went downhill from there. Bleach whack. <laughs> uh, hey Ming! Thanks for the subscription. Four months. Can't believe I've been on Twitch for that long. You gotta read the manga. Yeah. Fishing, fishing, collecting fish. Yeah, any filler is bad. <laughs> Dude, One Piece had probably one of the worst fillers ever. <laughs> so fucking bad, dude. But there were some fillers, like, there's one filler that I really appreciate where it was, they were in Alabasta. And Ace was there. And Ace wasn't in the actual manga. So. I don't know. I, you got to have like a closer relationship with Ace. Um, and you got to like see his personality, whatever. Welcome to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Where we talk about... Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. It's all because I time travel. Um, if you see me look away, <laughs> just know that it's because that's how I fish. I fish when I... Um, I have to not look at the screen when I fish. No, I'm in the northern hem hemisphere. But... Excuse me. Sailor Moon had pretty pretty big filler too. Sailor Moon was all over the place, dude. Sailor Moon's a journey, okay? The manga is completely different from the Japanese anime, 90s anime. The 90s English anime is way different from the Japanese 90s anime the newer remake of the sailor moon that was supposed to be based off the manga was way different than the 90s anime it just was a fucking mess dude <laughs> but it's kind of like watching three different stories and you're like what the hell's going on i made an entire video on it and i swore way too much in the video but it's still, my thoughts still stand. <laughs> the original 90s Sailor Moon anime was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. I had a fuzz on my shoulder. Um, is that the dub that ran on TV? Yeah, I think it was... Was it on... Was it on four... Four kids? Four kids had some pretty dank shit on it. <laughs> WB. What did four kids have? Four, four kids had one piece for two seconds. And they absolutely ruined it with that intro, but they also made it with that intro. <laughs> ah, yo, ah, yo. That's the. F <laughs> oh, yeah, Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Don't give it up, Zolo! Don't give it up, Nami! <laughs> what is that intro? I love it. <laughs> um, damn. What a good fucking intro, though. So catchy. I remember, like, I remember watching that as a kid and being like, I 
hate Usopp, <laughs> and I still do. Do you guys? <gasps> oh my god. Hold up. I'm gonna play something super lay epic. Hear me out. I, I wish I could take back me saying, you know, the E word, but whatever. Uh, wait, hold on. I want you guys... Shit, I might need to actually play the video. Okay. Here, is there a way... Uh, hold on. I'll be... Wait. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, can you guys hear me? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think you guys can. Cool. Um, here, I want you guys to look at this. And now, the stars of four kids will I hope you guys can hear that. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early What the fuck anime is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy. <laughs> fuck it, and then Usopp ruins the whole thing. Dude, wait, can we talk about this fucking random ass furry right here? <laughs> Anyways. Um. Yeah. <laughs> the rat's my all time favorite. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. The fucking rat's my favorite. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost called him Shredder too. I was like, yeah, his name's Shredder. <laughs> the bombs bursting in air. Gay move through that. God, can you imagine like being the voice actor for that, and you had to like submit yourself singing that song? They all just looked like they were in so much pain. Well, sounded like it. But the rat had a ton of fun though. <laughs> I mean, it's four kids, right? It's, it's cringe central. Can I say though? Is, yeah. Yeah, you can come. Come whenever. Oh shit, I think it's up at five, so you have 30 minutes. I did open the gates. I think. Are they closed? Mew Mew Power? Oh shit, that actually sounds really familiar. Dude, Sanji's my favorite too. 
Usopp's still my least favorite. <laughs> my least favorite person in One Piece, though, is... Oh, they are closed. What? What happened? Um... Uh, it's like Takami? Is that her name? That dumb swordsman? No! No, not local play. <laughs> Hold on. This is so stressful. There's so many options that I have to do. I'm waving to Phoebe. No, not um not the girl that fucking fell down the stairs like a little bitch. Not that one. Um Does she like Zoro? I don't remember. Yeah, the girl with Smoker, that one, that one. She's my least favorite One Piece character. She's so fucking annoying and I hate her. And whenever I see like top 10 One Piece girl list. Number one! She's always number one or some shit. She is literally so annoying. <laughs> Everything about her, dude. And then, like... And then literally... <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes Juan. <laughs> and then... In the time skip, they just gave her massive tits. They gave all the girls massive tits because Oda knew that his fan base grew up and they wanted to see some Tigo biddies, and I totally understand, but damn. And then Smoker was like in her body, and I was like, oh, this just sucks. It's so painful. I know it was a good thing. I know. But when an underdeveloped, sorry, my tongue's tied. When an underdeveloped character comes in with big old fucking knockers, you're like, damn. And then you know she's all over the fucking top ten list, right? Because because of the size of her tits. Top ten. One piece tits. Number five, Nico Robin. Her tits are pretty big, but they're a little too big for my liking. Here on this top ten anime list, we care about setting realistic standards for our female readers. Number one! Takumi! I don't- I think her name's Takumi. I don't even know. <laughs> Dude, I could make 500 YouTube videos on One Piece. She did get whitewashed. I was so pissed. She was so cute with her little tan skin and like... I mean, at first I was like... I was like, why did they make her so white? Like, is it because... Like, summer ended or something? Dude, I will be a One Piece YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not really a good, like, reviewer, though. Um, I don't know how to, like, formulate my thoughts or write a script. But that could be something I could try someday. Maybe, you know what? I don't have a big forehead for no reason. Big brain blast. You know what I should do? My goal is when One Piece has concluded, right? It's over. Me and my friend Dakota, or just me by myself. Um, I'm gonna watch every single One Piece episode from beginning to end and give like my ultimate thoughts on the entire thing. 
Because One Piece fucking changed my life, dude. One Piece is my favorite anime of all time. I love it. And I do it. Can I stream myself watching One Piece? We could do like a a, a year long like streaming session of One Piece as like a reaction. You can start from the beginning. Um, no, the chat was moving too fast. No. Oh yeah, right. She lived she lived in that snow place. I totally forgot about that. But don't you think she'd get a little tanner now that she's back with Luffy again? I haven't seen the anime in a really really long time. So, um I don't and oh, she lived in Alabasta, right? So going from Alabasta, to... Okay, it makes sense, but still... Wait! Oh! I'm a part of this! Oh god! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I wasn't prepared. But we got this, music man. Maybe you could edit in clips from the anime later on YouTube if you capture yourself reacting. Well, that's kind of lame because then I want you guys to watch it with me. Man, I wish there was a way where like I could just avoid copyright for two fucking seconds. <laughs> um. That's lame. I could, like, have, like, lists that I can discuss, like, like, I could rewatch the entire anime from beginning to end, um, and then I could have, like, a couple videos where, um, I could be, like, you know, my least favorite characters to my favorite characters, maybe another episode can be, like, my favorite arc, my least favorite arc, another episode could be like, um, I don't know, you know what I mean? Because I could talk about One Piece forever, um, but I could just like break it up. Because I feel like if I made this two hour long video. <laughs> it just would be so overwhelming to edit. Yeah, like, just having like different episodes, like 10 minutes each, talking about different things and what you guys want me to talk about. I don't know. Well, One Piece probably isn't going to end until like five years, so we got time. <laughs> um, you want to know what I was going to do too? I was going to do this with my friend, but um, it didn't really work out because doing really giant videos with your friends, um, it can get a little overwhelming. But, um, hold on. Hold on. Please hold. Okay. I was going to go into huge detail about Xenoblade Chronicles, play through the entire game, um, give my thoughts on how I feel about it, but you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm just going to stream myself playing the new Xenoblade game when it comes out, and I'm going to talk about why it's my favorite game of all time. Um, what it is about it that I like, what about it that I don't like, talk about like memories and stuff. Cause I love Xenoblade with my whole fucking heart, dude. I don't like Xenoblade X. I don't like Xenoblade 2. I just like Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> Combo points? Like for not fucking up a fish? 
In the new movie, Luffy gets a compass that points to Raft Tail, or Laugh Tail, um, and he destroyed it on purpose. That's kind of lame, but that is something Luffy would do, though. <laughs> Just like how I only like Dark Souls 1 and don't like the others. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's how I feel about Xenoblade. I'm like, I'm like, Ugh! <laughs> Oh, I think we get extra fish points. Oh, is it like a collective, like, in the cooler, both of us? Oh, shit. So, wait, can I sell my fish? Xenogears was the first one, I think. Was the first Xenoblade game... Made? <laughs> Hi, music man. <laughs> um, and then Xenoblade was after that. I never played Xenogears, though. Okay, we're gonna compete again, music man. Get pumped. <laughs> Here we go. The series became, <clears throat> I totally get where the director's coming from. The series became more of the environments and the setting rather than the character development and the story. Um, Xenoblade 2, from what Dakota told me, I, didn't, I couldn't really play much of Xenoblade 2. Someday I want to try to beat it so that I can give a fair review on it, but... The character development for Xenoblade 2, I'd never beat Xenoblade X, and now I don't think I ever will, because the Wii U is, you know, she dead. Um, is good, but like any RPG um, that old, I've been spoiled. <laughs> Hi, Derek. <laughs> I'm, that's your name. <laughs> Um, I've been spoiled by new ones and get tired of reading it. anything. Yeah, me too. All RPGs have way too much dialogue, and I wish that they could just sum it up in fucking a hundred words or less. You know what I mean? I like that as my new name. I know I now go by the alias Ashley, the ultimate Animal Crossing streamer. And then when I play Dark Souls 3, I will be Kelly again, the ultimate Dark Souls streamer. It does sound mysterious. <laughs> oh god. I was about You know what? Here, I'll talk about this. Uh, do you guys know Ashley, or I'm sorry, do you guys know Amanda Knox, that whole story? <laughs> no? Uh, you can do a quick Google search on Amanda Knox, and then you'll get some, some background context to what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. Let me know when you guys Google search her. But, so, yeah. She was, okay, wait, hold on, real quick, now that this is over. Uh, Exiles? Exiles? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. So that was a really, really big deal. Because Amanda Knox, um, she's from uh, my state, uh, Washington. She's from Seattle. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
She used to drive me to elementary school. <laughs> I was classmates with her sister. So her her sis <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I knew her. <laughs> I knew her and her family. Dude, I felt so bad the entire time during the whole Amanda Knox thing. It was like so heartbreaking. And it must be so traumatic for that whole family. I don't... I don't know what people have been saying about the whole thing. I haven't been really keeping up on the trial, but... Apparently, there was some news recently where she was gonna get remarried or something. Or like married again. I'm selling peaches. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, just everybody in Washington knows about it. She was like trending on Twitter a couple months ago. I don't know. But anyways, so when you said, or when that one person called me Ashley, I thought about her sister and I was like, damn. Like, I hope they're doing okay. Because that's kind of traumatic, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, sell, sell, sell. I don't know why I thought about that. Shit just got real. I thought everybody- I thought that was- that was like a really big deal because it was like an American that was stuck in Italian jail. You know? Yeah, we can go again. That's fine. Uh, wait, I kinda wanna sell to him really quick first. Yeah. I guess only people here really gave a shit because, like, I, <laughs> I like, knew them personally, so I was like, oh my god, what the fuck. No, she was literally- she was trending on Twitter. Tons of people talk about it, but I guess nobody really keeps up with it. Yeah. I remember seeing- an entire fucking Twitter feed, or like a Twitter article, like, trending, and it was like, Amanda Knox is getting married after, you know, whatever, and then she had her own documentary on, like, Netflix or something. I don't know, don't quote me on that. That's crazy. I mean, that was basically, like, at the time, that was, like, our Casey Anthony. <laughs> Everyone was so invested. I just felt terrible. I felt like I was, like, invading someone's privacy by, like, looking at news articles, so I never looked up the, like, court details or, like, what people think about her. Because it just was so... It just really, like, the, You know? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, I think Casey Anthony, she left her toddler in a, um, in a trash can? Or like she buried her in her yard or like her parents did? I don't fucking know. Um, and I think everybody just kind of was like... I think everybody collectively kind of knows that she's guilty, but she was found not guilty, so I don't really know. Or, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what people think about it. I think people think that her parents were involved or something, and she just wanted to go party, and she, like, regretted having a kid? I don't know. Um... I don't know about you, but for me personally, if I had a kid, <laughs> I wouldn't put them in the trash or bury them. I would take care of them. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. Pretty positive. One lady let her car roll into a lake with kids in it. You know, people can do fucked up shit, that's fine. But when people do fucked up shit to kids... I'm like... 
Really? That's like super evil to me, you know? What if you don't have anywhere else to put them? <laughs> That's true. Good point. Fuck them kids. You know that one picture? I don't know who says it. It's this guy who goes, fuck them kids. <laughs> That's my favorite picture. Probably whenever I have kids, they're going to be Satan spawns. I already know it. They're going to be like little Thomases that like flip everyone off. What if your kids are the throne watcher and defender? Ugh. They're going to be that. I know that they're going to be that, dude. And my kids are going to be playing games so much that I'm going to be like, hey, do your fucking homework. And they're going to be like, no, Animal Crossing 16 just came out. And I'll be like, fine, I'll play it with you. <laughs> I know they're going to be like, mom, we play games all the time. And I'm going to be like, I don't know what you want me to do. Fourteen thousand. Damn. Yeah, my job is playing games. Kids threatening or beating up other kids. Right. I think people treat kids very poorly. Um, my teachers in elementary school um, and in middle school and in high school did um, lots of fucked up shit. You know, any kid that I see, I treat them how they want to be treated. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. I treat them like any... You know, I treat them like... I would like an adult. Because, you know, how else are they... Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that little fucking fish bag. It's so fucking good. I'm gonna keep that. But... You know... Um, like my, my younger cousin, uh, I've been treating, ever since she was like 12, I've been treating her just like a normal person, um, while, you know, everyone else treats her kind of like a little baby that doesn't know anything. <laughs> How's your island going? Dude, we're going great. I just, I'm just desperate to get pathways and, um terraforming she does uh she she lets me know a lot of things because she's um she's 16 now pretty crazy um and they still treat her like a baby and i totally understand that because i have always been treated like a baby because i mean fucking look at me anyways um you know, I always felt like I, I couldn't have anyone to talk to. And so when she talks to me about really important stuff, like, oh, hey, you know, uh, just letting you know, like, I tried this for the first time or something. <laughs> just look at me. <laughs> I tried this for the first time. And instead of me yelling at her, I'm just like, okay, um, but just letting you know, like, you have to be careful and, you know, whatever. You know, make your own experiences and make your own mistakes, but... You know, be, think before you do it, you know? I don't just straight up yell at her like everyone else. I'm close to it, but I'm chilling for a while because my island has been taken up for flower color breeding at the moment. <laughs> Intense flower breeding. I like that. Uh, 
Ugh, I can feel my voice being lost a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys hear that. Wait, when does the fishing tourney end? At 5? What time is it? Can we talk about anime again? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's just the flow of the conversation. There are 40 minutes left. I'm picking up sticks. <laughs> okay. Wait, how many... Dude, are there like flowers where they have like two different colors? Dude, I need to go flower breeding. I'm trying. Do you have to water them? Sorry, I'm like bumping into everything. Do you have to water your flowers in order to make them breed faster? Yeah. I'm going to start doing that. Dude, what if like rare bugs only appear on like some flowers? <laughs> they do? Man, I got a lot of shit I have to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off from PGO Pie Industries. Only certain butterflies will appear when you have certain colors. Shit. I gotta get on that. And my foot's asleep. Ooh, I hate the feeling of my foot falling asleep. But yeah, tomorrow I'm getting a sick day. <laughs> and I'm going to spend that sick day um, editing. By the way, can I just say that my Dark Souls 2 best of video is going amazing it's so funny it's way funnier than the first one <laughs> you're like that one vine of that guy talking about um juan weeding this one um so for dark souls one best of it was an hour and 30 minutes because i had to include um a lot of context because it was me playing a dark souls game for the first time it was me trying to learn everything and so for this one you just get straight into the silly shit um i know it's really long so this one so far it's only Currently, right now, it's only like 15 minutes, um, but I still have uh, like seven, no, six more parts to go. I can't play Curb Your Enthusiasm because I think um, I'll get copyrighted, uh, whether it be automatic or manual, um, and I don't really want that. So I chose a, a better song. <laughs> And I'm pretty pumped about it. And it fits perfectly with like, you'll see, it's, it's very good. <laughs> it's, it's a Xenoblade song. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I want to remove that dumb other bridge. And I want to get um, another brick bridge and then have like brick roads and shit. Damn, you know, I wonder. Oh, wait, now that I have this backpack on, does my kimono not go down all the way? Let me see. Um, okay. Look, now your name is Juan holding a ladder. <laughs> Jesus. 
you're a walking stereotype right now. But, um, dude, I'm going to make my island look so fucking killer. You guys haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Wait until you tap into Kelly's full potential. Also, can I just say, though, it's really fun because all of my, <laughs> all of my roommates... Um, and all of us, we're all playing Animal Crossing, and this is just like an Animal Crossing house. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Is that the type of flower? You know what? You know what I'm gonna do, too? I'm gonna go to a bunch of different islands, um, cause I found a pink and purple, uh, whatever the fuck these are called. Mum, mum shit. <laughs> British moms. And I want to try to find some rare flowers. And then put them all over my shenanigans. Every fish. Listen, I got a lot of work to do, okay? Now Music Man's threatening to kill me over there. Dude, are you running- oh, Jesus. <laughs> are you running a flower business? Hey! Juan! Get back over here! <laughs> when are you gonna delete your Animal Crossing save? Slightly. <laughs> In a day or two? Well... Damn, I was gonna say, like, maybe, oh god, maybe, uh, put the 150k in a letter, and send both the letters to me, and then we can do, like, our Jeopardy showdown, and then we'll see who wins. I will probably lose, and then I'll send it out to someone. Yeah, dude. I don't got a big brain for no reason. <laughs> Ever since some of my friends seen my island, they're asking for my flowers. I know everybody comes to my island, and they take my flowers too, and I'm pissed. And they take my fruit and my bamboo. What the hell am I going to do? Yeah, I've had to send my bamboo to many people, and I've had to tell them, like, hey, pay royalties to Music Man. He's the one that sent me the bamboo. No, they ask for it, and then I give it to them. I've made, like, three ladders for multiple people. <laughs> like, I made a ladder for Matt, and I made a ladder for Thomas, and I made a ladder for my twin sister. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Guys, is my mic too loud? I feel like it is. <gasps> Wait, who's coming? My infamous sister. She was at my town last night. Yeah, everyone came. Oh, it's Veggie Goop. Everyone came to my Mabel shop too. <laughs> and they stole all my stuff. Speaking of that, Music Man, you better go to the Able Sister shop because there's a curly mustache available. Oh, now you guys can see all of Phoebe's dog toys. She has a lot. And I just shoved them in the corner over there. Here. Mm, never mind. It can't be avoided. Whatever. I don't want you guys to see that. I want you guys to see that I'm not this like hoarder. 
There. Now I'm blocking the mess. What, doggy toys? Wait. It's over there. I put all of her dog toys there. And then she goes... <laughs> she goes to that corner. And then she gets really excited. And she picks her toy that she wants. But she exclusively... Look, she's right here. Of course she's right here. But she picks out... Let's see. Where is it? Oh, here. She sleeps with this. It's her favorite toy. Hold on. This is her favorite toy. She sleeps with this. Um, look, she's looking at it. I don't know what this is. getting a FaceTime call. No, I'm streaming. Is it a green pig? But like, why is it standing up like that? What this? What this? What this? Have you guys ever seen Phoebe move? Oh, she laid right back down. I promise you guys, at night, Phoebe goes crazy, and she plays with everything. <laughs> she just, she's just really tired. She went on walkies, and she's tired. <laughs> you know what I was looking up today, though? I was looking up information about ducks. Um, cause I don't know if you guys know, but, uh, I'm kind of obsessed with ducks, okay? It's my jam. Um, and I looked it up and I was like, can I have a pet duck indoors? And they said, no, um, it's really cruel to raise your pet duck indoors. Uh, ducks are outdoor pets. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Because I want my duck to hang out with me on my bed and cuddle with me. But you know what I was thinking? Maybe instead of a duck, it's heartbreaking. I know, birds can't con- Oh god, <laughs> you got a luchador mask. <laughs> um, birds are crazy and I love them. It depends on what bird you get. Hi, Veggie Goop. <laughs> oh god, I'm getting attacked. Um, I might get a nice, easy beginner bird. It's the same with dogs. Um, different dog breeds do different things. She uh, just loves sleeping. Um, she's very lazy, uh, but she's very protective and she barks at people. But if you get like a husky, they're really, really crazy and need to let out their energy. And if you don't take them on like five mile walks every day, they'll rip up your furniture. You gotta raise them up young. Mm. I watched this one YouTube channel. Her name's Marlene McCohen. I don't know if you know her or not. Um, probably before, I would want to get like a baby. I know. Can I just say, birds are really hard to have as rescue animals if you're not used to birds. Um, so yes, you have to raise a bird from like baby status because birds are very smart and they... Oh hey, what's up? <laughs> Welcome. Melanie's a cool friend. Uh, but... Yeah, you have to raise birds from, like, really young because birds are very smart and they copy, uh, they really register human emotions and stuff. So if they're in an abusive household where people are screaming, um, they're going to be really distressed all the time. And I don't know. I mean, it's cruel, right? Like, um, I would maybe, I would, I would never buy an animal from, like, a fucking pet mill i would 
maybe adopt from somebody just like breeding them like personally <laughs> um yeah ducks can be brutal but i love i love birds i love birds i want a little fucking cockatoo and i want to name it tickles <laughs> I want a bird to sit on my shoulder while I stream. Is that all I can ask for? Hmm? Well, animals aren't meant to be in cages, you know? Um, birds, I, you know, you need to have a bird sleep in a cage at night uh, with a thing over it. Um, but, you know, when it's the morning time, you gotta let them out and let them play and have multiple bird friends, you know? Uh, people think that having animals is easy. It's not. It's a commitment and you have to do a lot of research. Like when I got Gaston, um, our bunny, uh, we couldn't do research because it just kind of happened all of a sudden. Um, and, you know, bunnies and hamsters are like the most mistreated animals ever. Um, I would say bunnies even more because, um, you know, people just leave bunnies in like a little chicken wire cage and then that's just what they do. Um, so when we got Gaston, we were like about to buy a bunny cage with chicken wire on it. Um, because Gaston, he just like came in our backyard all of a sudden and <laughs> we just like, we're like, you know what, let's have a, a fucking bunny fuck it oops well people get bunnies also for their kids and bunnies are not like a kid pet bunnies are for mature educated people um so ever since i got gaston we've been like researching how to like really take care of him he's free roam now um he's Nobody knows this, but bunnies can be litter box trained. Gaston trained himself to use the litter box. Like, he's super fucking smart. Um, and also, bunnies are very social creatures, so they need to have another bunny. And so we got Gaston another bunny. Her name's Gigi. Um, oh, jeez. Here, I'll show you guys a picture. Um, but, oh my god, they're so fucking cute, guys. <laughs> oh, look, and you guys can see me cry in the corner. Um, I've always wanted a super cute bunny, but I worry I can't take care of it right. I, and I sleep super weird hours, so I figured it's not a good idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess... For us, since I work from home, you know, I, it's fine, but, like, my friend, he worked all the time, and so he was always away from his bunny, and it was, like, uh, so he had to get rid of it, because I was, like, oh, I, you know, I don't want this bunny to, like, suffer, like, by himself, but, uh, if you have a bunny, and they have, like, a friend with them, uh, it's pretty chill, but, okay, <laughs> anyways, I'm not a bunny expert, but, Stream snipe. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so when we got Gigi, we didn't know the extent of how hard it is for bunnies to bond. Um, you know, they did like bunny tornadoes and that sounds super cute. Um, and you know, they attacked each other all the time. But what you have to do is you just have to leave them in a cage pen in a neutral zone and you just gotta fucking let them go at it right yeah i with bunnies they're you're streaming right now oh <laughs> maybe i can raid you after i'm done but um it sucks because like bunnies are so particular in the way in what they need that like you know if they're like terrified and stuff, it's kind of, it's kind of like taking care of like a one month old baby. It's like, Oh, what can I do for you? Oh my God. Like, I don't know what to do. But, um, after two weeks of bonding, all of a sudden 
they just became oh yeah you guys are both luchadors <laughs> they just became best friends out of the out of the fucking blue and now look at this <laughs> and look at me crying in the corner they're literally so fucking cute and they groom each other and they fucking kiss each other and they sleep with each other and they hug each other and they love each other. But the first two weeks, they fucking were killing each other, dude. Yeah, the white one is named Giston and the black one is named Gigi. Here, I can FaceTime my sister. She FaceTimed me earlier. <laughs> She's the one that has the bunnies at her place. I'll show my sister. Uh. Okay, she didn't answer. Anyways. Bunnies are just, bunnies are very smart too. People think that animals are really dumb. No, she's the one that called me while I was streaming. I'm like, what? What do you want? Anyways. Um. Do you guys hear this? There's a guy doing donuts outside. Anyways. I can tell what animals are thinking and feeling at all times. I'm like, I soak up their energy and I just like, no, you know? Like Phoebe, she's very sad that I'm not spending time with her right now. <laughs> oh, bye Veggie Goop. Have fun with your stream. Hope it goes well. Guys, go to Vigigoop's, uh, uh, wait, Vigigoop, wait, are you still watching? <laughs> wait, <laughs> leave your, uh, Twitch name, and then you guys can go follow him. He made the, uh, the jaw harp emote. He's a chill dude. He's been here since I started streaming four months ago. I know. Pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. There he is. He's a cool lad. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Stayed for Phoebe. That's how everyone else is, too. Look, she's snuggling with her toy. <laughs> she loves that toy. He's off now? Oh. Oops. But still, go follow him. He's a chill dude. Someday. Someday. Yeah, I deleted Peachy, okay. Because she, she was looking kind of rough. But the newer emo is going to be amazing. Just know that. Um, someday, Dark Souls 3 will emerge from the shadows. I promise you. Yeah, yeah, I replaced it with a... Wait, I want to send a picture. Can I send a picture? Mm, I don't think I can. You know what I'm talking about, though. Here, I'll post it in Discord. <laughs> and you can look at it there. There you go. Sorry, I like totally fucking burped quietly in the mic. Um, oh, okay, so... <laughs> Let me sell. And then let's go to a random island. Um... And then I want to try to pay off my house debt. Every channel says offline. Just checked. You know, sometimes when I start streaming, it says I'm offline. 
Um, right now it says I'm live. That's kind of weird. Ready and... Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this, but it's okay. Music Man, are you still here? <laughs> Watchman. I was trying to remember his name this whole time. My bunny's face pattern looks like a penis. <laughs> we call him penis face boy and we call her shadow girl. He it's literally like two balls and a tiny little chode. That's what his face looks like. <laughs> Penis face boy. Void girl. Into the void. Shadow girl. <laughs> she's so sweet. She's so... She's so scared of being pet. But when you're holding her... She loves it. Did stream die? Someone said that um, Twitch is kind of fucking up right now. I know. Isn't it- is that that thing where like if you look at it and you see a pattern it reflects your like personality or like your ego or something? Um, because I immediately think penis. So what does that say about me? That's Oshak? Oh. I mean is there some like deep- meaning behind it. <laughs> Rorschach, Rorikstead. Rorikstead, I'm I'm from Rorikstead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, maybe I'm looking for penis. It's true. Gigi is just one giant ink block test. She's all ink. <laughs> I can't get over how much I love this song. Poor penis face bunny. <gasps> Guys, I forgot to do a... F oh, shit. I knew I forgot something. Uh, Crypto Doge on Twitch. Thanks for the follow. I forgot to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I forgot to do something. <laughs> Hi, Phoebe. I know. You want me to hug you and kiss you. Dude, nice. Okay. Now. Oh, oh wait. Now we gotta sell. Here's my plan of attack. I am- I already hit my tooth today. <laughs> but my plan of attack is to pay off my fucking debts. Um, I want to go to a random island today. Um, yeah, and then my house- maybe like go to the next day and then my house is gonna be fucking gigantic. I already have a chipped front tooth right here. Not from the jaw harp though. <laughs> it's from something else. There was a new dentist that was working on my teeth and it wasn't my aunt because my aunt is my dental hygienist. Um, and she fucking chipped my tooth off and she didn't tell me. And I told my aunt about it. I was like, hey, can you let her know that she chipped my tooth off? And then she like, didn't come back to the office. Um, so... I don't know. Did you just put money on the ground? <laughs> what the fuck? Is this... Is this a part of the... Okay. Yeah, 150k. Wait, I can fucking pay off my debt right now. That's literally what I needed. 187,000.
Okay. A hundred. Oh. I'm like... <laughs> oh, fuck. I knew this was gonna happen. 288 bells left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can... Wait, did I sell my fish yet? She's really snuggling with her toy, by the way. No, I didn't even sell my fish yet. <laughs> this is funny. Thanks, music man. Always helping me beat games. Puppies are the best in the whole world. And kitties and bunnies. And I've never had a bird before, but I can only imagine. Hell yeah. Oh, can I not talk to Tom Nook while you're here? I don't think I can. I love kitties. Okay, music man. Thanks for the support. <laughs> I like how you can just brutally kick people out of your town. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> this is Survivor. <laughs> Made the best one win. Look, and then I wave at you as I literally kicked you off the island. <laughs> Ejected. I know, Phoebe. Look, Thomas is coming home soon, okay? I only used you for that cash muns. I see how it is. <laughs> and don't come back. <laughs> okay. Um let's fucking talk to Tom Nookie. Dude, hell yes. <laughs> Dude, one time there were- yesterday there were six people on my island, and I kicked them all out. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> I wanna expand. Oh! <laughs> the debt never ends with Tom Nickel. Hi Mang, do you want to play this game yet? Guys, we're gonna we're gonna get Mang to play Animal Crossing by the end of this year, okay? Dude, fucking pink all the way. Okay, I'm gonna sell my fish. I'm Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go to the island. Okay, hear me out. Oh, you didn't! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Dude, sometimes when I just yoink people off the island, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. You know what I mean? Why is the debt so big in this game? I feel like they're just increasing it all the time. Dude, half a million. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Looks like you're swimming with the fishes now, friend. Fish drying rack. Ew. Oh, 6 p.m. Well, it's basically over. God 
damn it. Ew. <laughs> Uh, anchor statue. That's cute. Dude, Thomas has a ton of presents waiting for him. Yeah, you know it kind of looks like a de uh, a dehumidifier or something. Give those fishies some extra crunch. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not a... I'm not a fisher. Oh, you know what? Okay, no, no, no. I don't want to go here yet. What I do... Where I do want to go... I want to go to the random island and I want to see what's up. Mm, I don't... Okay. I don't have... A net. So I'm gonna get a net. I'm gonna get another fishing rod. Okay. See, I get so confused. Okay. There we go. Where he goes after the shark finning crisis. And he found an entire rooftop of people drying shark fins on racks like that. Dude, he probably brutally fucking yelled at those guys. I would hate being enemies with Gordon Ramsay. Have you guys seen the Hot Ones video with Gordon Ramsay? It's hilarious. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay. Um, one fishing rod. They were gonna shoot him? Yeah, those people are no joke. You know? Sean, the way he talks... <laughs> the way he talks is like... <laughs> it kind of bugs me a little bit. Um, but he's such a down-to-earth like interviewer that, you know, it's pretty chill. I really like watching his show, Hot Ones. I know, and it's so, like, his hand movements is so fluent. <laughs> like, he's so, you know, in-depth with what he's saying and what he's feeling and what he's thinking. <laughs> it's really nice. No, Matt, I don't want to show my fucking feet. <laughs> I know he's watching from the shadows. He was just waiting for me to open that letter. What the hell? Show yourself. Yeah, my house is looking pretty fucking lame. Don't even comment on it. <laughs> Matt, I knew you were just fucking there, dude. Waiting. I know your schemes, your tricks. <laughs> like 30 minutes just listening to me talk about fucking random shit <laughs> um wow that's dedication appreciate you matt <laughs> um shit no i forgot to upgrade uh <laughs> i have a ton of furniture but i just am so but i, la I like want to wait for specific things. I have a plan for my house and my house is going to be beautiful. Okay. I want to have like a full fucking setup. The back room. Oh wait, that's over here. The back room is the kitchen. The room to the right 
is the bathroom. The room to the left is the guest room. Downstairs is going to be the gaming room. No. I heard you talking shit on the friends. You had to give a ladder to, but I remained quiet. <laughs> You're so dedicated, Matt. I knew you were fucking here. I knew you were here. That's why that's the first thing that came out of my out of my mouth. <laughs> Once I saw your fucking little name online, I was like, he's here in this chat right now. I know it. Can you guys see Phoebe? She's pass out. Per usual. Okay. God, let's go to the island and then let's check out what room I got in my house. Hell yeah. Aren't dodo birds extinct? They are. So these guys are dead. Um, I'm over affection affectionate with my dogs to or with my animals too. But like, what am I supposed to do? Look, this is how we sleep every night. <laughs> I took a picture of it. I literally just took a weird picture of myself. Okay. God damn it. That's how we sleep every night. Sorry, I have to keep my hand on it. And then she wakes up. She gets kind of hot sometimes. <laughs> She's very cuddled. All the time. My cousin sent me a message. Okay. <laughs> Cats are soon to race. <laughs> My, um, her brother, Frango, he needs to be hugged 24-7. Um, and he gives a hug, like, you have to get on your knees, and then he goes in between your knees, and then he hugs you. <laughs> See, look, there's purple flowers here. That's pretty chill. Oh, no. Um. I fucked up. Okay, that'll be plenty for the... That's like a super big house payment. <laughs> Hi, mine lord. What up? Are these rare flowers? So just send postcards with it? I guess. How much money can you take out? orange yeah I guess I just I'm staying up way too late oh shit don't let me keep you uh but hey mine lord thanks for the follow <laughs> look at Phoebe she stayed up too late too just passed out I mean what else are we gonna do during quarantine not stay up Oh yeah, don't you have like the cutest dog in the world? Mm, I love that baby. What is the 
that baby's name? <laughs> that convinced you? <laughs> My jaw harp abilities? I'm glad. Well, I'm about to end streaming soon. My guy? But you're welcome to stay. I think it has to go, I think the problem is links have to go through like a mod, so privately message a mod. Uh, and then it'll be fucking Dunskis. It's okay. Okay. I can appreciate your cat in spirit. These are big ass fish, what the hell? Let me see. Oh god, I almost just accidentally banned you. <laughs> wow, that's a cute kitty. Oh, I like how it's so snuggled on your super awkward N64 controller. <laughs> Corona's wild at your place, as is in Germany. Dude, it's wild everywhere, dude. Except for, like, some weird... Dude, even in Madagascar! <laughs> I was gonna say some, like... Deserted island. Well, I, I recently learned that people live in Madagascar. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't want this black bass. Will I ever get cooler fish? Hundred and eighty-five K. Two hundred IQ, that's me at all times. <laughs> okay. I'm throwing away these fish. Fucking degenerates. I don't need them. No. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> okay. I'm in. Listen, have you seen this forehead? She's a big brain, okay? Have I shown you guys uh, the pictures of me in Hawaii? Did I show you guys those? That's... You guys. This is very, very intense... Kelly lore. That you're missing out on. Oh wait, that's up there. Here. So, a long, long time ago... In a land... Far, far away... Kelly went to Hawaii. Kauai. I go to Kauai all the time. My mom grew up there. She grew up in Kaloa Town, Kauai. Um, I have family there, whatever, right? So, something, yeah, so the, back, the background lore of that is um, she was... Um, my grandpa, the guy who dies all the time, <laughs> my grandpa, uh, he died, uh, for a sec. He was in, like, a three-month coma, um, and then when he came back alive, right, like he always does, um, <laughs> the doctors told him that he needs to live in a place, he does die all the time, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> um, he literally in 2019, he died eight times. I'm not joking. He was in the ER um, a couple days ago and I laughed. I said, oh, he'll be fine. And he's perfectly fine. He, he's just all like black and blue and like his eyes all whatever. Anyways, he is literally protected by all forces of the universe. So he was in a three month coma. <laughs> Per usual and then he awoke and the doctor told him that he needs to stay in a place with 
even climate all the time so he can recover. So he's like, fuck it. Let's go to Kauai, Kaloa town. And he started a church there. Um, and he lived in this town for, um, 10, 11 years or something. And my mom grew up there and it was cool. Um, so we go to Kauai all the time. Yeah. My grandpa, he's a real OG. Um, so, uh, fucking, so we were there, you know, we visit all the time, whatever. And <laughs> I had a little too much fun in the sun. Um, just be prepared, okay? Are you guys ready? <laughs> yes, this is sun poisoning. Guys, look at this. Guys! <laughs> oh, by the way, look at my fucking cousin, too. We were so summer. <laughs> Guys! Hold on. Can't try to focus. Focus. Here we go. You get the gist. Oh. <sighs> I have pictures of how big my forehead was from the side. Because basically, it's one giant blister that's in your face. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, it was probably one of the worst things <laughs> to ever happen to me. <laughs> that fucking awful summer. But it's also one of the best things to ever happen. Where the fuck is it? Man, this is some deep lore. Oh yeah. Hey look! It's the emote. I found it on my phone. I'm looking through my old pictures. Oh, wait. Also, super random. Now that I'm going through this lore. This is Chop Chop. He's a briefcase boy. Uh, you know. Whatever. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. <laughs> oh. Here, look how pissed I am. Wait, fucking white balance. Okay. Look how fucking pissed I am. Look how big my forehead is. It's like, it like shot, it like shot out. <laughs> Such a big brain. I can't believe you guys haven't heard that lore yet. So basically what it felt like being sun poisoned, it didn't hurt at all. I wasn't in any pain, but... I had this really gnarly fever, fever, excuse me, because, like, my body was, like, on fire, um, so that sucked. I had, like, all these super cute freckles, I, cause I get super freckly, um, I am really freckly, you can't tell cause I have makeup on, but I'm super freckly, and in the summer it's, like, all over my face. And this fucking shit burned all of it off. I was so pissed. And now I have permanent freckles on my forehead at all times. To protect the big brain.
the sun literally cooked me. I, I actually have a video on my, I vlogged that entire vacation of, it's a two-year-old vlog, but, um, it's gnarly. Those vlogs are really cringy, but. Yeah, I get super freckly. God, I'm all burpy right now. Okay, fucking, you know what? <laughs> Gimme. Let's go to the next day. Just in case I dox myself. Hmm? Actual big brain? Oh my god, literally, that was me. Sorry, I'm changing the date. I don't want to dox myself. Because Nintendo likes to do this wonderful thing where they just put your IP address, like, smack dab. I could cosplay as a lot of things. I could cosplay as Krillin. Um, you know. And then after we take a look at my house and we can get the gist of like what the vibe is going to be at my house we can go we can end the stream this has been a very long stream <laughs> i like how i said this is time travel tuesday but i only time traveled fucking once that's okay <laughs> Dude, time traveling is um, big brain energy only, okay? Me bald, I kind of, someday, I want to be bald. Just to see what I'd look like. Why you cheat that baby game? <laughs> I don't know, maybe because we're in a fucking apocalypse, okay? People are losing their jobs. My dog is super snuggling with her toy right now. Uh, you know. I could wear some cool wigs. Um, every time I get a haircut, I'm like, fuck yeah. My hair, so my hair used to be down to my ass. And then I cut it all the way up to here. <laughs> um, and then I let it grow again. And then I cut it kind of like to here. And then I let it grow down to here. And then I cut it all the way up to here. But now I'm letting it grow out again. <laughs> uh, the Gaming Professor 97. So, sorry, 79. I mixed up the numbers for some reason. Ow, hold on. Let me try that again. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I donated. Um, so my hair is bleached. Um, just a little bit. Uh, so I can't donate bleached hair. Uh, but when my hair was down to my ass, <laughs> uh, I didn't bleach my hair at all. So I had all perfectly supernatural virgin hair and I gave it to um, a hospital. I'm letting my hair grow down to my belly button. Because I have this, like, you know, I have this vibe that I want to go for. But short hair Kelly, we love her. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that must be the money. Okay, got it. Oh, guys, I got the left room first. Good to know. No, I have this, like, I want to have, like, dude, you want, you want to know what? I want to, um, wow, everyone's so nice to me, what the hell? I want to have, um, you know that one anime 
the last unicorn. I want my vibe to be that. I want to be Princess Amalthea at all times. <laughs> That's me. Oh, it's a movie, sorry. But it's animated. The Last Unicorn was a very confusing movie for me. <laughs> I didn't really understand it. I guess there's a book that makes more sense, but... So guys, check out... Maramba. Guys, poggers. <laughs> Anyways, my plan for this is this is going to be my guest room, okay? And I want my guest room to be all hella weaved out. So don't even fucking worry about it, bitch. Ugly. <laughs> Mom's tissue box? Mom. Mom, what are you trying to say? Well, that'll go in my jerk-off room, but listen to the vibes that I'm about to fucking put down, okay? I want it to be a weeb paradise. Because look how cute that is. Ever since I got this futon, I was like, yes, I know what to do. Mm. Hear me out. See what I'm saying? No, it's a it's a futon. That's what it's called. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Should I hang this on the wall? <laughs> I won't do that to my fellow guests. Okay. Do you see the vibe that I'm currently going for? See what I mean? We are weeaboos, okay? That is our vibe. Um, anyways. Yeah, that's Animal Crossing for today. I'm glad I upgraded my house, dude. Anyways, thanks for watching. Three hours and 20 minutes. My poor dog. She just wants to snuggle with me. That's all she wants to do. And I've been ignoring her. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Hopefully, I've gotten some more furniture. I'm going to try my best, okay? I gotta look. Shrek Daddy. <laughs> no! I will say, though, Shrek Daddy... Um, you are mentioned many times in my Dark Souls 2 compilation video that will be out who knows when, but it's going along swimmingly. Just know that. Wait. Oh, I thought you said my house. I was like, wait, are you playing fucking Animal Crossing? Not telling me? Okay. Play for three more hours. <laughs> you are... You're a major part of Peachio Pie Corporations, so just a heads up. Oh, okay. Someone sent me a message of places that I can go during um, our stay at home order, which is awesome. Love it. <laughs>
Yeah, Pichu by Court. Okay. You'll get paid royalties. <laughs> Anyways, ugh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed with Phoebe and snuggle with her forever. I'll see you guys Thursday. We'll get some shit done. Okay? Thanks for talking to the big brain. <laughs> Bye, guys.